Jerry pointed out to me and I realized that perhaps we don't talk about this particular plant all that often because we don't see it all that often. It's known as a sandpaper raisin or a square stemmed raisin leaf. It's very, you, you, you can't obviously, <laughs> until technology advances to the point where we have almost like a scratch and sniff type game drive, you won't be able to get an idea of the texture, but suffice to say, it is very, very rough, hence the name sandpaper raisin, if that needed any further exposition, with its jagged outlines. We've had spoken before, just in terms of survival, about eating raisin bushes, or the raisins, of the raisin bushes. They're not actually raisins, it's the fruit. They're, they're pretty tasteless, but they'll provide you with a little bit of nutrients. But what's unique about this tree is the shape of its stem, hence the name square stemmed raisin bush. <laughs> Just if that needed any further exposition. It's got a very square shape to it. Very, very square. Now it's actually used as a form of corporal punishment. Instead of the the smacks that perhaps some of us were dealt as children, um, this is used in a slightly different way. So what happens is, to punish offenders, it is... Oh, goodness. Hold on a moment. I've, I've had experience with this before where I've snapped things and they've broken off in, into my face. But what basically happens is they, the, the offender places their hands together like this, so palm to palm, and the sticks of the raisin bush are placed in between the fingers like that and then squeezed together. Now because of the square stemmed nature, look it would hurt it would hurt whatever tree you use. But because of the ridges on the square stemmed or the sandpaper raisins, it's actually what makes it the most uncomfortable. So it is incredibly painful and I've tried it properly before. I'm not doing it properly now obviously but if somebody else then grabs around the hands and squeezes together and it digs into the knuckles so basically a form of corporal punishment. As I was snapping it there, just talking about survival and the various aspects that it is used for, a raisin bush stem is quite springy and it's actually used to create by, by local people to find food. They actually create traps with, with it in a piece of string that then fling forward and catch things like spring hairs in the desert areas, so in the Kalahari. Spring hare is not something we get here. They're awesome little creatures. They're like little, they're like if you crossed a kangaroo with a mouse, you'd get a spring hare. Tiny little things, about that tall, with long, very powerful bouncing legs, and they bounce like little kangaroos.